Miss Fushuan, is that you? Uh, wrong, Fushuan. Talk to the other one. Roll up, roll up! Miss March, would you like to take a look at the latest edition of the Xianzhou Beauty Index? The chance of drawing a law Fu Playboy card is super high right now. Miss Ting Yoon, it's great to see you so happy, but I can't help feeling a little sad. The past is in the past. What is there to feel sad about? Live every day as if it were your last. Don't be sad. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Hey, it's fine if you don't want to talk in real life. But this is my memory, so it's my rules. Come on, say something. Something. Seriously? We have similar recollections of him. Leave your memories in the past. They have no place in the present. Did you hear that, Master Diviner? Now he's talking weird. Mr. Yang, hi there. March, get ready. The next fight is going to be very dangerous. Huh? Which next fight? Stay focused. Fantilia is headed for the Ambrosial Arbor. If we don't stop the Lord Ravager, it'll be a catastrophe. Okay, all right. Got it. Another thing. The future is what's most important for us. Don't you agree, March? What? Dwelling on memories can numb your sense of the present and inhibit future ambitions. Miss Fushen, do people in memories always say weird stuff like this? The distortions we are experiencing are... unorthodox. This March 7th, welcome to the Sampo Hotel. I'm Japard, the security here. Why would hotel security need to be armed to the teeth? Is there great lawlessness in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, no. Japard is a captain of the Silvermane Guards. Just like how the Lafu has its own Cloud Knights captains. I have no idea what he's doing running security at a hotel like this, though. It isn't so surprising. In attempting to pursue the rational, we piece together the unrelated. The result is a seemingly meaningful fantasy. A fantasy called life. Excuse me, Miss March. Do you need anything? If there's nothing else, please let me get back to my duty. Also, allow me to remind you. You cannot change the past. The future is all that's left for you. Hmm, that actually does feel like something he would say. Welcome to the Sampa Hotel, Miss March. The Sampa Hotel used to be called the Goethe Hotel. After old Goethe retired, Sampo managed to trick his way into acquiring this place, and renamed it after himself. Luckily, the high-quality service of the hotel remains undiminished. It's still the best place to stay in the administrative district. I should mention, the Sampo Hotel's new slogan is, Don't think about the past. Strive for your future. Sounds like the kind of ad copy that Miss March would like. This girl seems quite trustworthy. Uh, that's just the work of my subconscious mind. The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They say that an architect once used the preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves. Whale tide spring? Isn't that a variety of Sienjo tea? My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. So bitter! Yuck! Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh, bitter is bitter! If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. There's an old saying in Bellabog, Blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. 
Uh, I'm not denying it. Miss March, long time no see. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Uh, the Sampo Hotel? This is Goethe Hotel. Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young confidant, Sampo Kuski. And before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. You see, old Goethe and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. This blue-haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> you don't need a jade abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Watch. If you insist on looking back, you'll find nothing but confusion and chaos. You were the last princess, and also the last survivor of the Diamond World ad -Livin. The planet was burned to an obsidian hellscape the moment Nanook ascended. Filled with despair, your parents swaddled you in warm clothing and placed you into an ice ship. As they watched you sink into the turbulent waves of the starscape, they felt a newfound hope. You are found and raised by strangers. You are the only savior, the promise of rebirth. Oh, wait, I wrote that. That's a story I made up about my past. Ah, oh, great. Forget memories. Now everyone gets to see my imagination. March, have you forgotten your past experiences? Surely your bow there is enough evidence for you. You were once a galaxy ranger, engaged in a bitter fighting battle with the remnants of the swarm. You rescued a planet in the Emerald System that was about to be swallowed by a black hole smashing through Dr. Primitive's carefully laid plans. You were severely wounded during the battle for Vonwalk. The leader of the rangers encased you in ice to protect you and waited for you to recover. My bow? But Himeko made that for me. You're lying! March 7th. One of the nameless aboard the Astral Express. After being picked up by Himako, she was freed from the six-faced ice in which she was encased. She lost all memory of the past. Because she had no past to speak of, she was an eon, and eons have no past. From the moment they ascend, the past and future of their existence becomes inundated by their past. March 7th's mistake was the loss of the authority of the Eons. Could it be? That never even occurred to me. But I guess it's not impossible. It seemed like that kid was trapped in ice, but the substance doesn't share the same physical properties. How bizarre. The crystals show at least six structures under differing conditions. Six-phased ice. The galaxy really is an enigma. Of course, I hope we can take her in. Or, uh, rather, I can offer a conclusion based on the most basic of moral judgments. Now that we've found her, we have to look after her. But, naturally, I'm concerned about whether or not this places the Astral Express in any danger. The Astral Express welcomes everyone! Don't worry! Do what you feel is right, and Popom will take care of the rest! Thanks. I feel more at ease now. I just hope she'll have a good time on the Express and not feel too... alienated from the rest of us. Stop worrying so much. Popom will say it again! The Astral Express welcomes everyone! Everyone agreed to take you in. I'm in exile. And by the look of things, you might not have a home to go back to either. But here on the Express, <laughs> nobody is alone. Himiko said that your vitals were all stable. 
She just didn't know when you'd regain consciousness. 